Welcome, Ms. Judith here, continuing our video. We're doing our starting the drawing lesson. These are my supplies. I got a sketchbook, beautiful sketchbook. I got an HB pencil. I've got an eraser. Oh, yeah. I have a beautiful uh, blank paper. I've already figured out where I'm going to put my tree. It's going to be between here and here. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to draw that beautiful tree that we were just looking at. And I'm going to go through it step by step. And when it's your turn to do, uh, to follow along the steps, right? Because I want you to do this with me. I'm going to do a step and then what will happen is I'll do my step and then I'll put this little note here that says pause. And what that means is you pause the video and then you do the step. And then, um, and then I will resume and you can start the video up again. Okay, you can pause the video as long as you like to take as long as you need to to do that step. Okay, but you need to pause it. I'm not going to let the video run while we're waiting for you to draw. Okay, um, so that's how we're going to work it. Okay, so I have my paper. I have my pencil. I have my eraser. That's all I need. That's I'm ready to start. And I showed you the tree. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you uh, remember, um, my tree is shaped like an upside down heart. So to simplify my tree, I'm just going to make like a V. An upside down V. Okay, there's my upside down V. The, the tree actually... Um, kind of comes around a little bit. The tree comes around a little bit. Okay, that's a simplification of the shape of my Alberta spruce. It's a beautiful tree. Okay, um, so you know what? Why don't we do this? We got the first shape in. Let's pause the video and you draw that shape. There's the shape. Okay, so um, I'm going to assume that you got the shape on your paper. The next step is I am going to put the shading on my tree. Because remember, half the tree was in the shadow and half the tree was in the sunlight, right? And I'm going to get my underhanded art grip. I pinch my pencil between these. If I was right-handed, I'd do it like that. And then I'm going to put my finger on the front there. And then I put these fingers under there. See? That's how I do it if I were right-handed. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to pinch it like that with my left hand. I'm going to put my finger there and my other fingers under there. And that lets me do my shading really quickly. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the shadows like they were one great big shape. And when I look at the photograph, I'm looking at the photograph right now, I can, um, I put my finger over the pencil. I start moving the pencil around. See how quickly I can shade in this, these shapes. I'm going to say the, sh the shadow goes up like that. There's quite a bit of shadow over on this side. And the shadow's over here. It kind of comes over here. Oh, it's a beautiful shadow. Oh, it kind of it kind of zigzags a bit. See that? If you look, uh, I'll see if I can post the photograph so you can get a, a hold of the photograph. But it kind of goes zigzag in and out a bit. And... There's some zigzagging over here. There's quite a bit of shadow near the bottom. And there's a little light bit there. And there's more shadow at the bottom. I'm not trying to do any textures. I'm just trying to shade in the shadow shapes. And you can see that I can do it fairly quickly. 
see, I can do these shadow shapes pretty quickly. Okay, this one kind of comes around. I'm just trying to say that um, this half of the tree is in the shadow. And this half of the tree over here, that's in the sunlight. Okay? Now that's a lot of work. Okay? So now it's your turn. Can you put the shadow on the tree? Pause the video. Oh, that's what you got to do. That's your next step. Okay? So I'm going to assume you got this step done now. Okay, I hope you had an easy time of using the underhanded art grip and putting the shadows. Just one shape for those shadows. Quite lovely. Now, one of the nice things about my, um, my tree is it's got a lot of beautiful texture. And um, what happened is I simplified the edge of the tree a lot when I just drew my shape. It's basically a big upside down heart. Um, but um, the edges of the tree are not so simplified. So I'm going to erase this a little bit. I'm going to erase that a little bit. And I'm going to erase this a little bit. I want to kind of get rid of that line a bit. And I'm going to redefine my line a little bit. And I'm going to look at my photograph and I'm going to say the lines are just a little bit jiggy. So instead of this being a straight line, see, I'm just doing a little bit of, of um, making the line kind of come in and out. I'm making it a jiggy line. It's kind of going to go out a little bit, in a little bit. It's not so a straight line like I drew. Yeah, I'm just going to edge it a little differently. And then there's other bits. Oh, as soon as I made the line a little jiggy, all of a sudden, my tree looks a lot more treeish, don't you think? Okay, so that's yours. Let's pause, and you're going to do that jiggy line now. Okay, good. I'm going to assume you got that step done. Now we're going to go on to putting some texture on the tree. Okay, so the texture is going to be a lot of fun. Now because the shadow part of the tree is dark, and where the sunlight is on the tree is light. So when I do the texture, I might, on the dark part, the shadow part, I might make the shadow texture darker. And the sunlight texture is going to be lighter. And I can make my pencil make dark lines by pressing hard. And light, light textures by pressing lightly. And remember when I did the video and I was telling the kids, don't press, don't, don't hold your pencil really super tight you won't have any enough control over how hard you press okay so let's start thinking about how to do these textures I got a beautiful tree and I'm going to there's different ways I can hold my pencil to do beautiful tree textures but I'm just going to do some hatch marks to start and they're just little marks, really. Now, when I'm doing the, the marks, the hatch marks in the, in the sun, look, they're very light. I just do little light hatch marks in the sun. And in the, sh in the shadow, I can make those hatch marks quite a bit darker. I'm going to put lots of beautiful hatch marks on. Yeah. Beautiful hatch marks. And I can even put some hatch marks out here. And oh, oh, over here it's getting a little lighter. I got to be a little bit careful. I don't want to have too many. I don't have to put the hatch marks everywhere. 
I can just have them in some places. And it's really up to me because even though I'm drawing a tree, when I'm making a drawing of a tree, it's not the tree, it's a drawing of a tree. So I can make decisions about how I decide to make the drawing. And I can say, well, you know, I like this much hedge. Some people like more hedge than other people. I'm finding down here, it's, uh, I want to use a different technique. But you know what? I'm just going to finish this technique first, and then I'm going to pause you, let you do this bit. And then I'm going to show you some other things. I'm doing these hatch marks. Look, little hatch marks in the tree, in the sunlight. I'd want these to be very light. Okay, these ones are very light. And these ones are quite a bit darker. Okay, I'm going to save this area for some a different technique because I want it to be darker. Okay, so look at all these beautiful hatch marks on my tree so far. I'm happy with it. Okay, so let's pause it. Pause. Okay, you do this bit with all those hatch marks. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now. We're going to resume. I'm going to assume you got that step done. Okay. Here's the next technique. I'm going to do some um, tech. Uh, I'm going to do, I got my underhanded art grip. See, I got my underhanded art grip. And I'm going to hold my pencil. And I'm going to do, continue to do my hatch marks. But what you'll notice is when I hold my pencil like this, the hatch marks can come in bigger and darker because the whole edge of the the graphite it's not just the tip it's the whole edge of the graphite is touching the paper and I can make this corner nice and dark and a lot of the stuff at the bottom I can make a bit darker yeah I'm gonna have some I think what I might do is I'll have some very dark spots because that's kind of a fun way to get some really dark spots. I'm putting more dark spots at the bottom. Just because it gives my drawing a little bit of weight. Oh, yeah. Nice. Happy with that. See that? Oh, yeah. You see how I'm trying to make my texture? I want my tree to look like it's got all that great furry texture on my... Over here, I, maybe I'll do it, but very light. See how when I do it in the sunshine, I try to do it very light. Because the sun is so bright. Over here is very dark. Here is very light. I'm doing dark and light and dark and light, dark and light. Maybe I'll put some up here, darker bits. I'm putting it darker on this side. More little light, lighter bits over here. Oh, yeah. Very beautiful. Alberta spruce. Now, I oh, I'll just do a little bit of. Oh, I'm having so much fun with this. This is really fun. Okay, I'm going to let you play with that technique now. Remember the underhanded art pencil grip, and I'm just making these really all these super fun textural marks okay so let's pause okay and you do that step add more texture see add more texture to your tree okay 
I'm going to assume that you did that step. My tree's getting pretty close to being done. So the only thing I need to do now is uh, I'm just going to put a shadow under my tree. And I got the underhanded art grip again. I'm going to say, this is where the sun's coming. So the shadow goes over there. Right? So the shadow, I'm just going to see, you know, put the shadow on over here. And the shadow is going onto the beautiful earth of the tree. Uh, it's in the garden on the earth. I don't want to do a whole lot of work on the shadow and the I just really wanted this to be a, a drawing of the tree. I don't need to do a lot of environmental stuff. I'm just doing a tree. How to do textures with my pencil. Very simple. Shadow. Just an indication that the tree has kind of got a shadow and it's going off in this direction. I can even, if I want to, Use my finger for do a little bit of smudging on that shadow. Happy with that now. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe I'll make this a little darker. Oh, nice shadow. Happy with my shadow. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Now, is your turn to put on the shadow. See that shadow? You put a shadow on your tree, okay? Okay. I'm going to assume you got it done. So, I'm going to say that my drawing is pretty much done. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to clean up any little bit that I think I can improve and get rid of that line. And I'm going to need to put my signature on it. I'm just going to put my signature down here. And there I have a beautiful tree. I love my tree. That's a nice tree. It's an Alberta spruce. It's got lovely texture. It's got sunlight on it. And um, I'm pretty happy with that. Eh, this bit here is bugging me. Oh, i got to stop. Yeah, yep. Well, now we at the end. You gotta kind of look and see if you can make a few little last improvements. I'm stopping. Okay, this is Miss Judith. Thank you.